now in today's right vlog we are gonna go to somewhere slightly new to me because i've never been here before it was actually like somebody told me that there is this climb that is open now um yeah so shout out to that guy who kind of told me on the road on the way to sentosa la. can't remember his name but so essentially there's a climb that's open it's usually barricaded so we're gonna go and check it out now today is kind of a sad day I'm alone because I woke up late for the group ride today but it's okay I will be going to Solo Sentosa and uh, maybe we'll meet them up for breakfast later at wherever they stop so hopefully they see my text and reply me otherwise I'll be eating breakfast alone yes we're going to Sentosa now do a few climbs and then we can go home so join me and follow me on this solo adventure So currently they're in preparation for the 2023 Singapore Grand Prix for F1 and uh, it's kind of interesting to have a night circuit in your own country and I think it's quite interesting to have F1 in your own country in general especially since we are such a small country on the Southeast Asian um, map so that's quite interesting and the heavy is just killing me it's taking me 270 watts just to maintain 30 km per hour why is the wind so painful today i have no idea so hopefully at sentosa it is not this bad if not i would die i really would die <laughs> I can feel that my legs are burning. It's painful. Alright, we're almost there. And we've made it into Sentosa. At least you are there. But my legs are burning. The wind was really painful. And uh, everything was really painful. Even the climbs were painful. Even though it wasn't really a climb, it's more of a hill. And it's more of a bridge and not a hill. But it still hurts. Now, Sentosa is one of my favorite places to cycle so let me bring you along on some of the rolling hills that are present in Sentosa and uh, let's go Now, I was told somewhere here that there is a climb called the Serapong Climb uh, It's at a road I can't find the road So I guess that will be an adventure for another day I wanted to go and try it Someone that I rode with just now Like on the road uh, Someone that I met just now on the road Told me that it's a continuous climb all the way up So I thought that would be quite interesting but Sadly I can't find it It's like finding a hidden treasure I can't find it so I have to come back another time I'll figure out where it is before we come back Maybe the bread will tell us where it is It's here I think So I guess it's that Okay, let's go and try Don't do this cage it's gonna be painful but we're gonna go and try I guess it's this Oh what the shit Okay, should I continue up climb? It's kind of scary
Holy shit. I don't know how it is. Oh, I cannot hear. Then I'm going to walk right. I can't make it up. Okay, I'm going to push right. What the shit is this? I've never expected something so hard before. But I'm going to push right. And hopefully we can find a flatter ground. Then we can clip on. And then continue again. This is kind of painful. Like, it's all the way down. Like, this is level, the camera is level. Okay, you can't really see, but it's all the way down. I'm at a. Um, how many grade? How many percent is this? Okay, they're not saying how many percent, but it's kind of painful. I think here it's flat enough for me to remount again. So, we're gonna try again. Okay, so after I mounted, it was like another 10 20 meters and then we were up there so now we're on this semi-flat road we're on this semi-flat road hopefully we reach the end soon i saw two guys going in front uh no idea where they are now but they are damn strong but apparently you can see the skyline of singapore here so we're going up to see the view and it's actually quite nice it's a very peaceful road there's no cars so i'll link the segment in the description below you guys can go and check it out it's quite nice yeah i think i think those two guys just now it's a bit crazy so they managed to get up here without um stopping so apparently according to them it was an 18 percent gradient up um, this climb. I have no idea how long it was because I was like too dead to see the meter. But yeah, so it's an 18% climb apparently and uh, it's not very far away from W Hotel. So I'm currently right here and then this arrow here is W Hotel. So it's like it's not that far and I think I found it on the map. So at least we're here now. It's got a nice view so I'm gonna go and find a place where I can get the view of Singapore and I'll show it to you guys. That's kind of nice. You can see like the out the, the, the what's that called? The shipping places. It's kind of nice. And then it's just it's just a kind of dark and um, mysterious place I guess. I have no idea what it is. So hopefully any of you guys out there can maybe tell me more about more about this place because I think it's kind of like a war place um, yeah it's like Fort Siloso in a sense so there are bunkers everywhere um, bob sheds so just do tell me like if you guys know more about here kind of interesting I've never been here before so let's proceed on with the descent Okay, my brakes are overheating. And route. Okay, my brakes probably overheated from that. 
So at least we're out now. And uh it's time to continue our way on with Santosa. I think I have uh, stepped into a wrong territory kind of invaded somebody's tea part, you know like they're trying to find problem with me I think they want to fight they're gonna throw hands okay, but anyways uh, I'm just gonna take a break and I think my brakes are overheating so we're gonna let it cool down a while and uh, I can't break at all, there's no power so I think it's the safer option to do to wait and to hang out with these I mean they're peacocks so I think they're peacocks kind of nice hi oh no bye bye okay i don't want to disturb their tea pan anymore if i disturb their territory later they call their gang leader come now i'm scared but yes we're gonna take a break at the top of india lookout and uh just gonna chill here until my legs are fine i think that Sarebong um climb kind of messed up my mental um for braking and descending because mm, when i used to descend at 50 km per hour i was still fine now at 34 i'm a bit scared but i think it kind of messed up my brain into like my descending and it's kind of traumatic <laughs> but i didn't fall so like so like I have no idea why I'm scared of descending but yeah, kind of messed up my brain a little bit but we're on the way home now it's the end of my short Sentosa trip it's just a 30km and then uh, we're on the way home probably grab some coffee or something on the way and then I go home and carry on with my day I guess the sun's out and uh, sunglasses are out too so I'm out of Sentosa too. So I'm going home.